Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Of course, not everything in the reading is going to resonate with you. Please lose your discernment, take what does, and leave the rest. But if the reading happens to resonate with you, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this message. So collectives, I really want to thank you so much, my new and returning subscribers and all the persons who tune into this channel. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your love and your like and your shares and your subscribes. Thank you so much for being a part of my soul journey where we can become one family here. Thank you so much again. All right, I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Libra. Hmm. The first card that came up is a death card. So something could be at an alt. Someone could be releasing something or releasing some old habits or releasing a relationship, going through a transformation, knowing it's time to move on, to start something anew. I have also the Six of Pentacles, which is equal give and take. So someone could want to give up a situation where there was no equal give and take, to walk into a new cycle where you are easily sharing with someone else. At the back of the deck, I have the Six of Swords. As I said, so someone is transitioning, leaving behind something that is dead, to move into something that's new. Yeah, so someone could have um, accept a lesson that they have learned from the past and willing to move forward. Um, whatever this is, you could be considering yourself moving into calmer waters or this person could be at a distance from you where you're going to have to use a boat or a train or a truck or something to move. It could be state between states. So at the, also at the back of the deck, I have the star. So you could be moving forward, hoping and looking towards your north, north star. Very positive. Could be looking for healing energy or you could be healing from something that was dead from the past and you have had no inner clarity as to what situation this was. So by faith, you're moving forward. I have the Hierophant here, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a, um, Pisces, or a Taurus here. At the back of the deck, I have the Hierophant. So you could be moving forward with the Star card being here. You could be on a healing path, could be listening to your intuition now. Um, with the Hierophant here, as I said, you could be getting spiritual wisdom, being very knowledgeable about a particular topic. Maybe you could be getting into spirituality or some shape in some shape or form. Have the King of Wands. So you could be a very um, bold, charming, natural born, born leader. Um, and now you're seeing the bigger picture of things with the Queen of Cups at the back of the deck. So I have the King of King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups coming up together at the back. All right, so I have the King of Cups and the King of Wands. So you could be embodying this balance, energy, very intuitive, while the other person that you're dealing with um, collective could be a King of Wands who's a natural born leader, or this could be your energy. So you're both naturally balanced. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be seeing the bigger picture of things, and you could be well devoted to whatever love situation that you have going forward with i have the 10 of cups so this could be a very strong bond it could be a family relationship that we're talk talking about um where you have divine love harmony Ten of cups speak of emotional fulfillment in a in a bond i have the ace of swords so you could have gotten a breakthrough as to a very close bond that you were dealing with and this bond initially was not giving you equal give and take. So you had to put a death to the situation. With the Ace of Swords, you have seen clarity in the situation. And you're moving forward, looking towards success. I have a Three of Cups. So this could be celebrating with friends and family. 
So you could be moving forward, celebrating with someone else, a collective. And uh, yeah, you could have no um, a, a group of friends that you can actually talk to or celebrate with. But initially something was dead and you were possibly stressed out. I didn't see a stress card yet, but something was dead and you had to release it and start anew. I have a tower card here. So something was completely was suddenly crashed to the ground with a death card and the tower. So something was definitely with the tower card, something was built on a faulty foundation and it was all broken down to, to ash, ashes. Anything else for Libra? Anything else for Libra? Anything for Libra? Okay. I have a two of pentacles in the reverse. So this relationship could have died, um, Libra, because someone mm, didn't have the potential or the ability to commit to something they didn't want to commit i have the page of cups in the reverse so someone was actually doubting their it and it, it fell exactly on the two of pentacles someone didn't want to commit to something because they were doubting their intuition hmm. very emotionally immature feeling insecure maybe having low self-esteem with the page of cups in the reverse being here this person was creatively blocked. I'm not sure what, what's happening with this. Why? How was this? Hmm. This person was blocked. I asked why. This person is regretting something now. They were blocked. They were regretting. I have the five of cups. But someone is regretting something, grieving, feeling abandoned by you. Maybe you have walked away from this person um, collective. This person is now feeling abandoned now they could be resting and recuperating or this could be your energy resting re recuperating gathering your thoughts trying to retreat from whatever death tower that happened in the situation and you're now protecting your peace and at trying to be at peace I have the hermit yes so you are maybe by yourself trying to figure out cipher out what went wrong how could i have made, made it better getting guidance maybe even being withdrawn from others not wanting to be in the company of others i have the lovers here at the back of the deck so i have the gemini's energy um i have um the chariot cancer so you could be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, I have um, all signs, water sign, the star, Aquarius, yeah. So you have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you have water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. There is not much um, pentacle here, just one. Yeah, so anything else to close the reading for... Libra, anything for Libra? Anything that you're reading for Libra? Yeah, I have the Wheel of Fortune. So someone luck could be very good at this time. Someone could be getting could be on the higher side of karma where everything that they touch may be coming into fruition. Anything with this wheel of fortune? Anything with this wheel of fortune? Yeah, I have a page of pentacles. So whatever you're manifesting is gonna be coming into fruition as i said you're gonna be you're 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 gonna be offered a gift or you're offered a gift from the, from the universe which is an ace of pentacles to start a new opportunity a new business a new something that's new that's gonna have you grounded and it's gonna be a new manifestation for you anything more with this ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune Someone could even want to send you a message. Yeah, I have a ten of swords in the reverse. So this all came after you have recovered. This new pentacles that you off you, you were you have gotten all came after you recovered from this ten of swords. After you have moved on, after you have learned a lesson, 
you're moving on and you're even stronger than you were before. You survived the pain of a, of a, um, you, you've survived an emotional pain and you're healing from it. And after healing, you have now received the Wheel of Fortune in the upright and the Page of Pentacles. So you have now given a new gift of manifestation. Um, what could this be? What gift could this be? For? What gift could this be? What's the gift? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't say what gift, but um, I have the Eight of Cups. So he's telling me you were unfulfilled from a situation and you're moving on into the unknown. Someone could be feeling un feeling abundant. I mean, abandoned and feeling as if they're no longer needed in your life. They're, um, you have searched for the truth, truth and you're letting go and you're leaving. You're walking into the unknown, into something that's new with the Page of Pentacles. And the wheel of fortune letting go of your pain after a death of a situation where the tower hits someone was not given equal equally in the relationship so you decide to move on with the six of swords you're healing with the star you're now listening to the divine maybe learning new newer knowledge enlightening yourself with the two of pentacles in the reverse this person was not able to commit to you because they were doubting their intuition, they have they were emotionally immature, but now you're they're coming out as a or you could be a natural born leader while they're coming up as a king of cups now, because they're looking at you as a ten of cups that you were supposed to be a blissful harmonious relationship that they were supposed to have with the ace of swords. They tell me that's the truth and that's truth and clarity. They want to collaborate with you again, but you're moving on with the chariot and you're in a hermit mode, resting and recuperating from your past hurt. And you're moving while someone is sitting in regret and pain because they know they have possibly hurt you and sabotage your relationship. So collectives, thank you so much again for joining me here at the galaxy with God Love Notes. Peace, I leave with you. Goodbye.